Hey folks, how are you doing today? Hopefully everybody's alright. Um, this is a quick video. That should give you a drink there. Um, I got a package this morning. This should be the household item that I'm going to be repurposing as a tobacco press. Um, it will need a little bit of modification, but nothing major. It's something that everybody can do. Um, so, here we are. Oops. <clears throat> now, <laughs> it's all in Chinese is the label but essentially this is a noodle press or a noodle maker um, you can see it has a screw plunger there which if I unscrew the top <coughs> you have the plunger there the only thing that really needs modifying on it is on the base because obviously it's a noodle press so the base has holes in it all you need to do is cover that up um, and you should be able to get a reasonable amount of pressure on this noodle maker uh, you can see it's just a stainless steel tube essentially with a plunger, you know, screw down plunger um, and I've seen a couple of posts that uh, suggest that this is actually a pretty good method so we'll see how it goes um, I'll be, uh, what I'm going to use to cover the hole in the bottom I've got a Pringles lid um, I'm just going to cut that to size and put it inside the bottom cap and that should be more than sufficient to uh, keep everything contained. I'll be doing a, a full video when I do actually um, put some tobacco in there um, which will be in the not you know a bit later today. Um, I just want to sort a couple of things out before I actually do that and I'm going to press a cake of my Kazadoom blend so with that you folks take care and I'll see you later <laughs> 